Test, test, test. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Hi. My name is Axo. Welcome to another episode of Axo Plays Minecraft. Oops. Uh, that was a very close. And I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Hello. Welcome back. Last day. Uh, last time. We planted stuff. And today we're going to di do different stuff. Wow, I'm I'm very high in my energy, I'm noticing. How come I have been breathing? I have been breathing, breathing in deep. In and out, in and out, yeah. That gets you all high. Anyway, where was I? Yes, Minecraft. Um, I have an ender pearl in my inventory. Ooh, that's a nice looking crosshair in the shape of a circle. And you may also see, in the inside of the circle there is a cross. And that cross marks my death. And how did I die? Well, my death has everything to do with this enderpearl. Because I saw an enderman. And I thought, hmm, let's kill the enderman. And then the enderman thought, hmm, let's kill me. And that is what happened. And then I returned, and then I killed the enderman anyway. And this is how I died. Oh, just a second, I'm getting a phone call. Uh, yes, hi, I am back. I got a phone call. These things can happen right in the middle of recording. And that's wonderful. But, yeah, I explained about the Enderman incident... I was talking about maybe going to the to the movie later today. So that's cool. Anyway, um mm, 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 Minecraft. What are we doing in Minecraft? Yes. Um well, since I died so easily because the Enderman absolutely obliterated me, uh I think it will be a good idea to craft all of the armor. That sounds like a very wise idea. And something that I was also wanting to do. Uh, I don't have enough for a helmet. That's alright. This will give us plenty of protection for now. I want to explore. I want to explore the world. I want to get carrots and potatoes and find villages and perhaps find a cool potential base location. Or maybe I will make my base right here. Oh, a cow, a cow, a cow. That's something else I wanted to do. Wheat. I have wheat. I know. Yes, plenty of it. Now, I have only seen one cow, but usually, if there's one, there may be more. And, yeah, breeding cows, that's always a good idea. Because it takes time, and the more you have, the more they will reproduce and the more easy your life will get when it comes to cows. And it is getting night also, and I cannot see a single cow. Yeah, that was the nice thing about... Wow, look at this view. Uh, about chopping all those trees, it makes it easier to find what you're looking for. Or, well, I wasn't even looking for them in the first place, but I discovered that they were there. But it's time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Watch out for the mini ravine. Oh, and there's a nether portal thing over there. Yeah, let's hop into bed. And sleep. Hmm. Yes. And another idea I had was... Mining. Mining for iron. Mining for redstone. I think redstone would be fun to have just a single piece of it for the sake of getting a compass. And a compass is useful for traveling. And I know I have this minimap. So actually we do not even need a compass. But still it's fun. It's fun to travel with a compass just for the feeling you get of being an explorer in the world of Minecraft. Yes. 
And for that we need redstone, and for redstone we need mining. And for iron we also need to mine. And now I was very prepared. I have written down all the Y level coordinate things for all the ores. What are all the most ideal Y levels to start mining? So now I know. And okay, let's um, quickly go and harvest some of the crops, and then we will go down in the mine, in the mine, or I can also do this off camera, I suppose. Well, let us just reap the benefits of last session, and I'm going to put this ender pearl away before I accidentally throw it. Ender pearls are way too valuable to just keep lying around like that. Yes, in... Oh, man! In this um, series, there it is going to be... Uh, it's going to be the first time for a lot of things for me. First time going to the end by myself, doing the nether fortress stuff and whatnot, because yeah, a lot of things I have never done in, su in survival Minecraft, a lot of things I have done but not on my own, and yeah, it's filled with new experiences, so yeah, this is exciting for me. It's, um, I've been playing this game for so many years, but still there are many things that I have never done. So, that was... Uh, they always keep growing. Okay. Uh, uh, done, done. Uh, one more. Okay. This was the last one, I promise. Because we need to mine, mine, mine. Come back to me, wood. I do like to keep my wood, you know. Mm. Yes, let's start preparing to go down the mines. I need food. I've got food. I do not need an egg in the mines. I do not need an ender pearl. I could use some stone, but I'm sure I will get more. Uh, let's get three iron to make an iron pickaxe. And let's just get all of these sticks. And do I have... Uh, let's get some wood for a crafting table. And we have ourselves a nice, useful traveling crafting table. So, I think we are fully prepared to go down in the mine, but first... Oh my! Yes, let's go down in the mines, down in the mines. Oh, uh, one more thing. I do like to take my bucket as well. Bring a bucket of water. Um, here you are. Here we are. <clears throat> yes, let's go. Down, down, down to Goblin Town. Ooh, look at me! <laughs> my head is turning backwards. That's interesting. Ooh, I'm going down. I've never seen this animation in action before. Wow, that's pretty cool. But it does make it very difficult to... Uh, look around. Um, what are we going to do first? Iron or redstone? Uh, I think iron comes first. It, that's the first priority. Uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, level 16. Okay, we're at 19 right now. So, we need to drop a couple of rockos. Um... Let's just do it like... Uh, uh, pressing all the wrong buttons again. Level 16, right? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Be gone annoying numbers in my face. <gasps> wow. Lapis Lazuli. And the ideal level for Lapis Lazuli is minus one. Oh, this is so convenient. Having that all in front of my face on my little piece of paper. Yes, but minus 1 and 16, that's very close to each other, so this is also a good level for Lapis, it would seem. 
Okay, let's just start creating ourselves a little room. I think that's... Yeah, that looks like a fun idea to me, to just create these little rooms at all the levels of mining. And I might close the rooms that I have right now that are not ideal for mining. So, yeah, this will be Iron Room. The room for iron. Mining, 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 mining. This is the song for. Ooh, I heard a zombie. <laughs> this is the zombie song. La la da 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 I mean, it's essential to life. I'm sure you know. We cannot go a single moment without breathing. Well, we can last a moment, but yeah, not very long. So breathing, it's wonderful. And I'm still a little bit sick, so you might, might be hearing some snotty noises. But anyway, uh, yeah, breathing. Breathing in deeply, breathing into the belly, into the chest, letting go. I found this new uh, breathing exercise thing that's like very intense. And I've been doing that for an hour. And after that, every time I do that, I feel so high, so high. It's, it is truly wonderful. Oh, and one thing I now realize that I forgot is torches. Um, yes, I forgot, but maybe we will discover some coal as we go along. So I don't feel like going back up right now. It takes time traveling up. And for now we can see a mob will only spawn when it is absolutely pitch black. So we're safe, we're good to go. But there must be a cave nearby. Surely, because I hear zombies groaning and muttering. Zombies are... They always sound like they've got a cold as well. They're about to sneeze. Yes, that was no real zombie, that was just me. Hmm, yeah. Video games. Minecraft is a video game, but there are more video games. And I have, well, my mind is going all over the place, but I was thinking, let's discuss some things and maybe I can ask you a question and you can answer what is your favorite video game or other questions like that. And I completely lost my train of thought. But anyway, oh yes, I was going to say, as of right now, I am re-recording all of my episodes so uh, episode one all the way up to episode seven this is going to be is all pre-recorded so by the time you watch episode one watch episode two or even watch episode seven this has not been recorded on the day you see it not even close uh, this has been recorded way in advance and I've been doing that because I was a little bit insecure, bleh, speaking, insecure about recording. I may seem confident, and I am confident, but I'm also a little bit insecure. And so I thought, let's just give myself a moment to just start recording and recording and just really get a feel for it. Really start enjoying it, find my groove, and yeah. 
get get going, get started. And then I can start uploading and then I will start recording and uploading more um more equally one to one. So record one, upload one, or record two, upload two, or something like that. And my pickaxe broke once more. Um so the reason I was saying that is if I ask you a question, or maybe if you leave a comment, I won't be able able to read it right away, up to this point at least. But moving forward, if once I start uploading them, there will be more interaction with the comments. And so yeah, the, the first few episodes there will be no comment interaction, but uh, right now I would like to start planting that seed. and ask some questions or maybe you can come up with some cool fun things to talk about or whatever um yeah so i was going to bring up the topic of video games minecraft is a video game but there are more video games and what are your favorite video game video games and not only that what is it you like about that video game because that's the thing with conversations. It's fun to share. It sure is fun to share. And one way of yeah, getting deeper into subjects, getting deeper into topics is to just ask more questions and yeah, like what is your favorite moment in your favorite video game? So let me answer it for myself because right now I do not have any interaction possibilities with the chat, but I can interact with myself. So what is my favorite video game? Well, probably Minecraft, <clears throat> but other than Minecraft, mm, I love Skyrim. I love Ark Survival Evolved. I have not played it anymore for a long time, but when I did, I sure loved playing it. Mm, well, let's just go by all of my games, I suppose. Why not? Spore is another game I love. I think Spore is one of the first games that I was completely captivated by. I absolutely adore that game. It, yeah, it's amazing. For those who don't know, Spore is a game that's all about evolution. And you can sort of simulate your own evolution as a species. And you start out being a little one-celled organism, or a couple of cells. Anyway, <clears throat> you're like this little tadpole. And you're swimming in the ocean, swimming in the ocean. And there are other one-celled organisms as well, and they will try to eat you, and you will try to eat them, and you go from there. And then, once you are big enough, you have evolved to become a species that can crawl onto land. And once you're onto land, you can discover other kinds of land creatures. And the creatures are getting more complex and more complex as you go along, and you can fully customize your creatures as you like, give them spikes, give them horns or wings or different types of mouths, like scary looking ones or oh, I don't know, anything. You can completely customize them and their body posture and their colors and all that stuff. Uh, more pickaxes, yes. Um, yeah. And then it keeps on going from there. And then you evolve into a species that has become so intelligent. And it will start making tools. And it will start playing Minecraft, basically. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you will start tribes. And then the tribes will become so big and you will make cities until you have conquered the entire world and you will start traveling into space and well you get the gist from that i mean for me personally the most interesting uh phase of the game have always been the 
the cell phase, so when you're a little tadpole, and the creature, and then the tribal phase with the with the primitive tools. Those have been the most fun to me. And afterwards, well, all of them are fun, but usually it takes more time and it gets more of the same. And go. I found you. That's wonderful, because I like brightness. Brightness in here, brightness everywhere. Light up my world with brightness. And yeah, we do have a couple of iron and some copper, which is wonderful. So yeah, Spore, one of my favorite games. If you haven't played and if you like, well, if you are part of the audience of this channel, you are most likely a fan of dinosaurs and evolution and creatures and monsters and all that stuff. So you are probably going to like it. It is available on Steam, I think. And it is an old game, but it is a very entertaining game. And what is my favorite moment from the game Spore? Um, that's a good question because it has been a long time, a very long time since I last played it. Oh, but I remember there was an expansion to the game called Galactic Adventures and you could sort of create your own adventures, create your worlds. And I remember recreating some of my favorite films from back then. And back then it was the film Alien or Alien vs Predator. And I remember recreating those aliens in Spore and recreating the Predator. Sometimes speaking. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, yeah, recreating those Predators. And recreating the worlds, recreating scenes. And, sort of, and then you can also play them. And I love doing that. So, yeah, that was one of the <clears throat> one of my good memories, just recreating my favorite characters, recreating dinosaurs I loved, recreating... Yeah, that's a theme with me. I like creating things, whether it's Minecraft or I like making stop motions. If you don't know, I have a channel on which I upload animation, stop motion animation, drawn animation. I like sculpting, I like creating in Minecraft, I like creating in general. So also in Spore, I like creating my own stuff. And then getting to play your own stuff, and that's even more amazing. And I always, ooh, that's, that, that's one thing I really loved about the game. There were creatures called epics, I think, in that game. And that is how I learned the word epic. It's always funny how there's always some place or some reason to discover or learn about a word. And for me, the word epic, I learned through playing Spore. And basically what an epic is, it is a giant creature based on any other creature. So you can create your own creatures. But you can also encounter your own creatures in your world. So maybe I play... Uh, one time I play as a little green bouncy ball creature, whatever. And I created it and... And later I create a different creature and play through the game. And then I can encounter the same type of species that I created earlier. And I think that must have been one of the things that really 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 uh, hooked me to the game just getting to create your own creatures create your own world and then once you play a different world discover your own creatures all over again from a different perspective but anyway those epics they could be any creature they could be creatures that have been uh, created by the game deve developers but they could also be one of your own creatures. So maybe you would encounter like this giant version of one of your own created versions. And they were 
they were no jokes. They would completely destroy you. And I always enjoyed uh, trying to take them down and down those epics. Yeah, that was really cool. Very challenging. And I must have spent many hours just playing through Spore, hunting down epics, trying to find my own creations in the game. And yeah, I love it. But I think I must be wrapping up this episode right about now. And I may keep on playing some more because I enjoy playing a lot right now. And I have more time to play, so why not? But anyway, do let me know. By now, I may be starting to be able to see your comments. Um, what is your favorite game? And what is your favorite moment in the game? Or what in particular did you like about that game? And yeah, I'm curious to hear. And I'll see you in the next episode where we will maybe continue to mine, I guess. Uh, we will see. Anyway, see you in the next episode. Bye.